everyone, today we are talking makeup, drugstore, affordable makeup in particular. I know you guys like it when I give some cheaper alternatives as well, so today's makeup tutorial is entirely products from the drugstore. I say drugstore, we don't really call it that in the UK, but I think by now you all know what I mean. I think I'm using around 10 products for this look and I really like the finished look. It's very wearable, great for daytime, but I think it could easily be transitioned into night as well with a bit of black eyeliner. I'm gonna get straight into it and you're gonna see some close-up cutaways of me applying the makeup while I talk through each product. So first, let's start with foundation and I'm gonna be applying the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I think there's a Healthy Mix Foundation and a Healthy Mix Serum, but I did a bit of Googling and I think Serum is the more hydrating one and I really need like a hydrating foundation. I use this in shade 52. I got 51 at first, but it was too light, so I went for 52, and it's a really good match for me. I'm applying it with the Real Techniques sponge, and I make my sponge quite wet. I really like the look it gives. It just really blends it into the skin. You have to keep bouncing away, and it does take a lot longer. If you haven't got time to do this in the morning, I'd recommend using a buffing brush and then just finishing with a wet sponge, because it really gives a nice, dewy look to the skin. And this foundation, I would say, is a light to medium finish, so it's definitely not a kind of medium to full coverage. You can still see a lot of my skin, but at the moment I'm really enjoying wearing lighter foundations and then using the concealer to kind of cover any blemishes or dark circles at the end. For concealer, you guys know my favorite concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, and I think a pretty good dupe for that is the H&M Concealer. It is slightly different, but I like the packaging. It's small, it has a good shade selection. This one, which is in the shade Soft Sand, I think is a little bit too yellow for me, but I kind of make it work. It's got a doe for applicator, it's really nice coverage. The only thing I would say how it differs to the Urban Decay one is it does crease a little bit more under the eyes, so I would recommend powdering after you've done your concealer. And I am gonna be powdering a bit today because my foundation's quite dewy and the concealer can crease, and for that I'm gonna use my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. I really love this powder, I didn't feel the need to find a new one because I think this is a great drugstore powder. It's got a mirror inside, which is really good, and it's a kind of slightly yellowy powder. I use the shade 52 Vanille, and it's a really nice lightweight powder. You hardly detect it on the skin, but it just sets your concealer and foundation in the places that you want it to. I apply this to my chin, around my nose, and under my eyes as well. So for bronzer, you guys know that I love the Soap & Glory Solar Powder. I use it all the time. It's without a doubt my favorite bronzer, but I thought for today I'd use something different. So I'm gonna be using the H&M bronzer, and this is probably a close second favorite. It's really good. I love that the packaging has a mirror in it. It doesn't have to, it's such a cheap product. But it's a really good bronzer and it's actually really similar to the Soap & Glory one. I don't know if H&M Beauty is that easily available yet everywhere, but they do the beauty ranges in some of the bigger H&M stores in London and I've really liked everything I've tried. This is just a very easy to wear bronzer. It's not too orange, it's not like too gray. You can contour with it. I just like to warm up the face around the edges of my face and along my cheekbones, and I think it looks really pretty. For blusher, I'm gonna use the H&M blusher that I mentioned in my February favorites video. This is in the shade Cameo Pink, and it's a really nice pink because it's not too bright pink. It's slightly browny, very kind of neutral, easy to wear, and I like to just brush that onto my cheekbones. I'm taking it slightly up because I'm not wearing highlighter today. If you guys know of any good drugstore highlighters, let me know because I couldn't find any in my drawer, and I thought I'd just leave out the highlighter today. This is a really gorgeous blush. I've been really enjoying wearing this recently. Okay, now onto eyebrows, and I usually use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I think this came as a recommendation from Anna because I was really struggling to find a drugstore eyebrow product, and she said this one's pretty good. It's the Maybelline Brow Satin, and it comes with a pencil on one side and an eyeshadow on the other. I don't use the eyeshadow, but I do think the pencil is quite good. It's very similar to the Anastasia one, slightly bigger, but it has that kind of waxy texture, so you have to press quite hard to get the color out. And the color match is really good for me. This is in the shade Dark Brown, and it suits me perfectly. Okay, now onto eyeshadow, and I'm gonna be using the Zoeva palette that I also mentioned in my favorites video. This is Nude Spectrum, and this has so many amazing shadows in it. I absolutely love this palette. One thing I would say is definitely tap off the excess product before you apply because these are so pigmented that it can kind of fall out onto your cheeks. So I first used this shade, which is second in on the second row, and this is a really pretty 
kind of light pinky gold shade. It's a bit like MAC All That Glitters. I love to wear this just alone, but I'm gonna start by applying this one all over the lid. It's so gorgeous. It really catches the light and looks so, so pretty. And then I'm gonna use the one beneath it, which is a bit more of an antique gold, and just use a little bit of that on the outer corner of the eye. This reminds me a little bit of MAC Woodwinked, but it's a bit more kind of yellowy gold, but really pretty to just deepen the outer corners of the eye slightly. I'm then applying this one on the bottom corner, which is a matte brown, just to the under underneath of the eye. I always like to put a matte brown underneath just to define it. I always feel a bit top heavy if I don't do that. And then I'm going to finish the eyes with a dark matte brown and I'm taking a really small liner brush and just applying that really close to the lash line. I'm not doing any kind of fancy eyeliner with this, just really pressing it into the lashes. So it kind of defines the upper lashes a bit and I always find it when I don't wear any kind of eyeliner, I just look a bit naked on the top of my eyes. So I'm just pushing that into the lashes to add a bit of kind of definition there. For mascara, I'm gonna be using one of the new Revlon mascaras. They've brought out loads. I think there's four or five of these, all with different color lids. I think it's confusing packaging because I reckon people are gonna think these are colored mascaras when they're not. They're just normal browns and blacks, but they all do a different thing. So the two that I really like are the Revlon Dramatic Definition, which is a bit more of a plastic brush that gives nice length and definition. But the one I'm using today is also a favorite. It's the Revlon Ultra Volume. This one has more of a big, fluffy brush. And I find that if you really get to the root of the lashes and push up throughout the lashes, you get a lot of volume with this mascara. I really like it. Sometimes I'm not into these kind of big mascara brushes, but this one's really good and it definitely gives a lot of volume to my lashes. So I'm a big fan of this. Finally, on two lips, I'm gonna be using a lip liner and a lip gloss. First of all, the lip liner is from Rimmel. It's their Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Addiction 018. And this is a bit of a Kylie Jenner lip color. It's a kind of brownie, rosy nude. And I like these lip liners. They're very soft, so they're maybe not as good for really defining the cupid's bow because they kind of melt away and they, I feel like you'd go through these liners very quickly because they're very soft. But that also makes them really nice and they're good to wear by themselves because they are so creamy. This is a really gorgeous shade and it's slightly darker than the lip gloss that I'm gonna be applying, but it's fine because they kind of merge together and make a really nice color. So this lip gloss is from NYX. I think it's NYX or NYX, I never know, but they now sell this in Selfridges in the beauty workshop. So I got my hands on one of their butter glosses. They were sold out of so many of their lipsticks, it's crazy, but this one was in stock and I thought it looked really nice and again, gave that kind of Kylie Jenner lip that I'm a bit obsessed with at the moment. This is in the shade Tiramisu. I really like it. It's a neutral brownie rose. They're very creamy. They're very creamy and liquidy to apply. I find that the best way to apply them is just apply to the bottom lip and then kiss your lips together and that's kind of enough product for all of your lips. But they don't feel sticky at all. They feel really comfortable to wear and I really like the way it looks. So if you can, the eyeshadows is one product. That was 10 products, and I really hope you guys like the finished look. I'm gonna link below a playlist with all of my previous drugstore-related affordable product videos. So if you wanna see what other affordable products I really like, go ahead and watch those videos. And please leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this look. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.